Today we're going to go ahead and fry up a, um, a uh, entire chicken. This is organic chicken. Um, we prefer organic over uh, conventional. Uh, not only is the meat quality much better, and uh, but uh, when you have chicken that's pasture raised, the uh, breast meat is really high and thin, and it's much darker also because it's a piece of meat that's actually been exercised. And so um, it's much more flavorful, and uh, we prefer it as a family uh, from a health point of view. The other thing about it is uh, it's been defrosted and uh, it's been uh, dry rubbed and marinated for about 24 hours. So I'm going to go ahead and throw this guy into the oven. Um, we're going to be used. We're going to be cooking the right way, which is with a meat thermometer, um, Alton Brown style. If you don't own one, you really should go and buy one. Um, I don't know how else to cook pretty much meat or, you know, the guessing game doesn't really work. So we want internal temperature, if you believe the food and safety guys um, for salmonella, uh, of internal temperature of 165. We're going to go ahead and set our uh, alarm for 155. And the reason why is uh, at 155, I'm going to go ahead and uh, pull the chicken out. I'm going to go ahead and lather it with some um, olive oil probably and maybe butter maybe um i'll take a look i have duck fat so i might go ahead and uh, go lather it up with duck fat and then i'll throw it up and turn the uh, heat up a little bit so we'll get a crispy skin um the other thing i want to say is uh at one feet we're going to pull it just to lab just to rub it down in oil and stick it back in but at that point in time we'll go ahead and set it to 172 because um, what we found is my wife thinks the meat around the bone is a little bit undercooked whenever we just aim for 165. So we find that when the breast meat is about 172, then the meat around the bone is right around 165. And so we're going to go ahead and set this guy up for uh, 155. We're going to pull it when it's 155, lather him with some olive oil, and then stick him back in. Um, this guy is marinated with salt, uh, onion powder, and a little garlic powder. Um, one other thing I want to say is you'll notice that the um, chicken is uh, vertical. I much prefer, and so should you, uh, to roast my chicken vertically because then one side's not sitting um, in, it, in its own vat of oil, so you won't, you won't have uneven sides. And also, um, the uh, chicken will cook uh, much more evenly instead of having one side hot and one side cold and one side dry and one side not so cooked. The, um, this is actually a stand from a beer can chicken, although I don't know why since this does not actually have the hole big enough to hold one can of beer. So there you go. Um, but uh, we're in, a, in our uh, cast iron uh, skillet, beer can chicken, chicken holder, um, Alton Brown style uh, meat thermometer, got it stuck in the breast. And we're gonna go ahead and stick this guy in the oven. Now, the other thing is, if you want a chicken cooked really well, you really need a convection oven, just so it'll circulate heat all around the chicken, and you really need to cook it vertically instead of horizontally laying down. Um, if you don't have either of those things, then I'm sorry. Um, probably buy less Starbucks and buy yourself a cast iron skillet and a vertical chicken stand, right? Or sell your iPhone and buy something useful like a vertical chicken stand. Um, so we're going to go ahead and throw this guy in the oven and then I'll see you when it's time to pull it out and lather it in some oil. Chicken is done, you know, it's got a really bright overhead, but let's go ahead and walk you around the chicken. Look at that bad boy, huh? Super golden crispy skin.
save, we're going to get a crispy skin. And click on the black side. Actually, we would just turn the, uh, let's call it more food porn here. Look at that. Chicken backside. Delicious. So I'll see you when I cut into the chicken. This is pretty much the uh, family favorite, which is the chicken wing. Scissors with its uh, uh, chicken shears, and uh, it's really hard to describe how crispy the skin is. I mean, it is crispy. So it's crispy. Look at that delicious piece of wing. And there we go. And there's the best part of the chicken. Which is chicken wings. I'll go ahead and cut it off. And cut it up. So when you're cutting the... Let me see if I can get it. This thing is hot. So when you're cutting the chicken leg, try to get... This part is called the oyster. Right, right behind the hip bone and uh, I'll try to get at it. I'm not that good at, at getting at it, but it's any win. So I want to make sure I get to the oyster. And that's the oyster. Oh my gosh. There we go. I found the hip bone. I didn't get all the oyster out, but that's okay. Slice that guy open. Spring with oil. Bam! Drumstick. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, put the bat au jus here. Chicken skin, my kid's favorite. Basically, we're scooping up the juices. And this will be just dripping, dripping on top. Um, so the juice is delicious, so you don't really need to make gravy or anything like that. And the chicken's delicious already. So um, we'll go ahead and have drippings um, from the chicken. Obligatory taste test. We have the uh, drumstick. Look at that. A little bit of ajou on it. And the skin is super crispy. Good, so good.